Hey guys, it's going to be again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on AR Foundation. We're going to be looking into body tracking one more time, but this time I want to use the invisible skeleton that we created to determine when we're going to be spawning particles. Why do I want to do this? Is because I want to act like we have superpowers. So basically as I lift my hand and I aim towards the camera, we're basically going to be spawning particles just to make, like, make it look like we have superpowers. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys. So what we're going to be doing today is breaking this up into two videos. This first video is going to be focused on more of displaying positions of the parts of our body that we're going to be tracking. I'm already tracking a lot of the positions by putting cubes and also putting particles. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to add a script that is going to allow us to tell the UI, you know, certain part it's going to be, you know, it's going to have this position. That way, when I do the recording, I can tell, you know, at what point we want to actually spawn a particle. And the reason that I want to do that is because let, let me just show you, I'm going to show you a mock-up and just to kind of give you an idea, drawing online, let me see if I can find something where we can actually draw online and I can tell you what I'm trying to do so that it makes it makes a lot more sense. So let me just connect here to the to my Wi-Fi. Okay, just drawing online and we can just use a sketch pad. I think that's the one that I used before. So so what I want to do is I want to be able to know at what point do we want to spawn a particle. And if we're looking at the body, we have multiple parts. So if I were to, let me just go ahead and change this to be, we just use a pen. And let me just see, I think that I think that works. So if we look at our body, we have something, and this is very minimalistic, guys. I apologize for the for the drawing. So we are currently tracking multiple parts. We have a part here that we're tracking. We're tracking this part. We're basically AR kit is tracking a lot of the parts of the body. So we're also tracking the the hip. We're also tracking, you know, multiple parts of our hands. So we have like the forearm, we have the left hand, the right hand. We also have the shoulders that we're tracking. And I'm just going to draw some of the things that I know that we're tracking. And we're probably tracking more. I'm just, you know, just sim simplifying this for now. And we're also tracking our head. And then within the head, we have, I mean, we have our neck that we're tracking. So if we're going to be spawning a particle from our hand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check, okay, if the position of our hand is above our hips, or maybe not even above our hip, but maybe above our shoulders, or right within that area, then we're going to be, you know, spawning a particle. So we could say something like, okay, we're within the shoulder and also our hips. And if we're about 70% of that and our hand is above that on the Y, on the y axis, which is going to be, so we have Y here, and which is going to be for our height. And we have X, which is right here. And then, of course, we have Z, which is going to be, you know, going into the foreground and, and giving us depth. So what I'm going to be doing is adding a check to make sure that we have a conditional that says, okay, if we are above our belly, about right here, maybe around this area, maybe this is 60%, you know, above our belly, then I'm going to be spawning particle. That way, if my, if my hands are at rest, if my hands are around here, then I'm not going to be spawning particle. But as soon as I raise my hand and I get to about this point, that's when we're going to be spawning particles and we're going to be spawning those particles towards the camera. So we're going to have the camera here recording us. Of course, this is not a, this is not a great drawing of, of the camera, but you kind of get the idea. So I'm recording myself. This is capturing, you know, the body, body tracking. We're going to be in rest. We're going to be lifting our hands. As, as soon as we lift our hands, we're going to be basically launching particles through physics, applying forces towards the camera position. And then it's going to look like we're basically, you know, launching, launching fire towards the camera. And we might look like we have superpowers like Iron Man or, or something of that nature. So that's kind of the idea. And that's what I want to do. So but first, I want to be able to track each one of these. I want to I'm going to start with one hand, maybe, you know, determining the position of the hand. And then I'm also going to be tracking the position of the X, Y and Z of the hip. The same thing with the hand. And, and probably all shoulders and then and then see if we have some parts in here that we can also track. And we're going to be just logging that information to the UI. I'll take notes and then 
once I have the notes on the next video, we can basically add minimums and maximums to, to determine when we're going to be launching. And I think a better, a better term for that is the spawning particles. Okay, so we have this scene that I already created, you guys. If you watch my previous videos, you know about it. But this is the one that basically gives you fire and you have particles all around you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone it. And we're going to start with this one because I don't want to start from scratch. And we can just say tracking with superpowers. This is going to be, you know, the, the first phase of this video. And then just like I do in every video, this is going to be, you know, I'm going to modify the instructions. This is going to be human body tracking with superpowers. And, and this is going to be slow at the beginning, but I promise you that it's going to be cool once we get, once we get it done. Uh, let's see if my caps lock. Okay, there we go. With superpowers. And then it's going to say point your camera towards the human, move your hands around to draw. No, we're not drawing in this case. We're basically going to say move. So place, we can just say place your hands right above your belly. Or we can just say place your, your hands against the camera or pointing towards the camera. I think it's a better point pointing towards the camera and then we can just say uh, fire particles will be spawned upon detection okay so that's that's very simple instructions of what we of what we need to do so the next thing that i need to do that i don't have right now is we're going to be dismissing this but i also want to have a panel that it's going to give us more information and that's the one that i'm going to be keeping a lot of attention to because we're going to be logging the position of multiple parts. So what I'm going to do, this one, it's going to be, we can we can probably just move this one down a little bit. This is going to be just kind of like the welcome. And this one is going to be more of our debugger panel because we're going to be needing some of the data. So I'm going to move this one down here. We're still going to have, you know, or, or title, which is going to be this plane right here. This is going to be just the debug area. And, and also we're going to have, we're not going to have instructions this time, but we're going to have the information that we're going to be logging. So what I'm going to do is this is not going to have this. This is going to be logging. We'll just put, or just hard, hard code that for now. And then what I'm going to do is just going to move this up. And then we're just going to move this down. This dismiss button is not going to apply. And I think that's going to give us enough real estate to, to show what I need to, what I need to track. I let me just call this one. It's gonna be the. This is gonna be the debug panel. This one is going to be the welcome panel. And I think that works. And it's gonna be my title, and then or or login area. I just call it login. I think it's. I think it's fine. All right. So we have that going on, and then the the next thing that I want to do is I don't want to modify the the human body tracker that I currently have. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have. So if I go, because I, I honestly don't remember exactly how this works. I've been I've been using it, but I, I've been doing so many videos, so it's, it's really hard to keep track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone. Let's just go with, you know, my instinct and, and that everything is going to work. So we're just going to call this one human body tracking, human body tracker logging. I think that I think that's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then, and then we'll just call it login. So we're gonna do everything that we're that we're doing already. We we don't really need an offset, so I can just get rid of this. We do need an skeleton prefab because I'm gonna need that skeleton to track the parts. So, and, and one thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to track everything. Like I don't want to track every single part of the of the human body because it's gonna we're gonna run out of room. And, and we might be able to do it, but I'm, I think for now I'm just gonna keep it simple, and just do and just do a few parts. So as far as the position, let me just look at let me just look at this. The the position. This is basically a pending and offset, and I'm not gonna be adding that offset. So I'm just gonna keep it very simple. And I don't think. Oh yeah, I, I am using that to add it to a skeleton tracker. Okay, so we're gonna leave this the way that it is. Everything here, it's gonna be the same way that it is. We're not going to be using the human body tracker UI, so let's just get rid of that. We're going to implement something different. 
and I think that I think I also need to get rid of this. Okay, I think that works. And this is just different login that that we can use. Okay, so I think I think we I think so far so good. So now let's look at the skeleton. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to 2D. And I need to remove, I'm gonna remove this. Let's go get go ahead and re get rid of the human body tracker UI and also the human body tracker because we're gonna use a new implementation. We're just gonna call it login. And then the skeleton that we're gonna use is going to be the robot that we had, but it's gonna be the one that is invisible, that it doesn't have any any particles whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clone this one. I know this one is completely transparent. It's not gonna have anything. So what I'll do is I'll have, because I know this one is gonna have superpowers, I'm just gonna call it superpowers. And to be honest, I'm just going with my instinct. I, I'm not prepared for this, but I, I really feel like it's gonna work. So we're just gonna add the, the skeleton prefab and we're also gonna add a reference to the, the human body manager. All right, so, so far so good. We have a new skeleton. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop this skeleton here. And as you can see, we have, you know, we have few things that we need to remove and that it's the trail render that I have right now. And what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the cube and I'm gonna change the transparency to not be transparent because I wanna be able to look at it and then see what we're doing. And I've done this in multiple videos. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna get that skeleton out of the out of the view so I can, I don't have the UI in front of me. All right, so one thing that I wanna do that I, I know that I need to change is I'm gonna remove this trail render. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm also gonna get rid of the trail render on the other hand. So let me just click on that. And, and what I'm gonna do is just to keep this easy to work with, I'm just gonna unpack the prefab and then we can just remove this and then I can just create it once I'm done with this. All right, so we have a skeleton and I will change this to be 000 at some point. So some of the things that I that I know that we're tracking right now, see how this has a spine five. So I think instead of saying the belly, we can just say, okay, if we're above the spine four, we can get the position, the global, the world position of this cube. And then also the world position of this cube and if this cube is above the position of this cube, then we know that we can spawn the particles. We can keep it simple like that for this video. So what I wanna do right now is I want to get a script going where we're gonna be getting the position of basically all the components from here are gonna have a script and that script is the one that is gonna tell us the position of, the, of certain objects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, and this is just, I'm completely brainstorming, this might change, but we can just call this one bond. We can just, let's just call it bond tracker and, and we can rename it later if we want to. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it to the bones that I wanna track. So I know, I'm just gonna call this one a bone, but in reality it's the cube that is inside of the spine. So we're just gonna say, okay, you know what? I wanna track that. And I also want to track the position of this hand. So, which is actually a bone. So I'm going to also go into this hand and we're just gonna add that component it's gonna be bone tracker and i'm also going to go to this component bone tracker and if you notice every one of these components has a cube but it also has a parent so the way that i'm going to do is i'm going to get all the child components that have this this script and then i'm going to go i'm going to go to the parent to find out what bone we're trying to track and then i'm going to use the game object that has the script to determine the position I'm gonna do, do two things. I'm gonna track the local position and also the world position, just to make sure that there is nothing that I'm, I'm missing just from, from this example. So, okay, so we have a bone tracker here. We also have a bone tracker here, and we also have another bone tracker here. So we should have a total of three. And, and I think that's enough for, for the purposes of this video. So the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my prefabs and actually the skeleton prefab and I'm gonna drag and drop but before I do that let's go ahead and change this to 000 just to make sure that I you know I don't screw up the the prefab positions okay and I'm gonna create a prefab out of that and then the last thing that I'll do is just for this demo so that I can show you I'm going to leave the inv invisibility the transparency the way that it is and then when we get it working we can you know make it invisible so it looks more realistic Okay, so we got that and that works fine. 
Then the next thing that I need to do is I'm going to go into my, my body tracking here and I'm going to add a reference to this. Okay, I think so far it's so good. And the next thing that I need to do is in the script, I need to add a reference to the, the, the actual text that is going to be displaying the positions. So I'm just going to say this is going to be the login. We're going to just call it login text. And there's probably better names for it, but I think I think that makes sense to me in my head. And hopefully it makes sense to you as well. And I'm just going to say using Unity Engine UI. Okay, so so far so good. So then the, the other thing that I'm going to do is, if you notice this, it's already, there's a method that is tracking when we when we show the, the human body. So what I'm going to do is right now, this is only executing on add. Every time we add a new, every time a new body gets tracked, we're basically going to go through this loop and this is going to happen. And if we update a position of the body, meaning that we're moving, we're dancing, this one gets called. And then if we remove a human body, if you have multiple people and then, or, or yourself are showing up and then you're hiding, then this will get executed when the human body gets removed. So what I want to do is I want to be able to track all the different parts that the human body ha has where we have a bone controller. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go ahead and go here and I'm going to say, you know, I want to do a bone, actually I call it bone controller, it's actually called bone, bone tracker. And I'm just going to say, you know what, I want uh, all the bone trackers that are associated with the skeleton. So I'm just going to say bone trackers, we can just say, Right now we can just we can just do that. I think I think that's fine. It's gonna be private. It doesn't it doesn't have anything just yet. And then what I'm gonna do is if we if we if we actually have a skeleton that is showing, and, and I'm trying to think about this because the way that this is working is caching the the actual you know trackable ID, the actual component from the human body, and making sure that you know if it's already been cached, there's no need to to add it to to a dictionary. So what I'm going to do as well here is we're going to do something else. We're going to do human body controller. And in fact, if we look at, I'm just thinking out loud because I think this is going to be the skeleton. Basically, this is going to be the skeleton game object that we are instantiating. So the human body controller, we're going to get, we're going to get the bone controller. So I think what I want to do here is instead of let me think. Let me think about this a little bit because I'm I'm really not prepared for what I'm gonna be doing, but I want to make sure that it works. So what I'm gonna do is let me make sure that I can check what I did on the on the other implementation just to make sure that I'm not missing that I'm not missing anything. So on this one, it is this game object name human body name, and okay, I think I think I got it. I think what we need to do here is as soon as I get this added, as soon as we track a new a new skeleton, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna say new skeleton game object, and I'm gonna get all the components from the children's where the bone tracker exists. So this is gonna give us everything that the that has that component. So this is gonna give us, and actually it's gonna be components as plural. And if you notice, implementation returns an array. So this is gonna be our bone on bone trackers. So we're going to get every single bone tracker that it's in the skeleton. So the other thing that I'll do is as soon as this gets added, I want to I want to make sure let me let me make sure that I do this correctly. So I'm just going to say if bone trackers is not null or actually it is equal to null and this implementation might change. I just need to test it. So if we haven't initialized it, I'm just going to try to get it. Otherwise, it's just going to use what we already have. And then what I'll do is also, we're going to need to update the, basically the position of the cube. So I'm going to have to do the same thing on the update. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to do it right here. And if you notice, this one actually doesn't have the game object because we're appending. So what we can do is we can just use the human body controller. And I'm just going to get all the components in that game object uh, that have the bone tracker. And then I'll just do the same thing here. And I'll show you why, why I need to do this. Okay, so now that I have that, I need to be able to, to get the position of 
this object, so I need to go and access my, and I might make this a meta, so it's gonna say login text, that text, and this is gonna be an array though, so we need to do for each, we can just say bone tracker, bone track, or bone tracker, we can just call this one plural, so in bone trackers, so all the ones, we're gonna find three, right, because those are the ones that have that, that component associated, so we're gonna say login, text, that text, and we're gonna be basically appending some information. So this information, it's going to be basically this. It's gonna say bone tracker. I need to know the, the current position of the bone, so I know that I need to get the name first of the parent. So I'm gonna need to, I need to say game object, that parent, transform that parent, that name, that's gonna give me the actual bone that I'm, that I'm tracking. And then I'm just gonna say, so this is gonna be the name. We're gonna say bone. I just say bone, I think I think that's fine. And then right after this, I'm gonna say position. And in this case, I'm not gonna go to the parent. I'm just gonna grab that from the game object. So I'm just gonna say position is gonna be, and I need to make sure that I just do one curly brace. And this one is just gonna be transform that position and that and make sure that i add columns so this is nicely nicely formatted all right so i think that that works so so what's going to happen is we're going to find the left hand it's going to be one of the bones the right hand is going to be another bone and then once we hit the spine number five that one is going to be another bone and we're basically going to keep adding to the login the other thing that i want to do here just for just to make sure that we keep this clean is as soon as this gets executed, I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna set my my login text to empty. That way if we if we basically human bodies change, if things get added and, and removed, we, we don't basically have way too many things in the log. Alright, so I think this this is good. And then the other thing that I want to do too is I want to also add the local position. So I want to make sure that I have those correct. So I'm just gonna do a local position. Can just do local position there and in fact we could use and I, th I think that's fine i was going to do something different but but i think that's okay and then so this is going to happen when we add things but that it's not necessarily going to show the the update so i want to make sure that we're updating this constantly but if i keep updating this it's going to be appending to it's going to be basically appending to everything so i, I think that's okay we can just go ahead and just copy this and then paste it here we might even make this a meta. And the more that I think about, the more that I don't want to do an append on the log because what's gonna happen is we're gonna be looking at you know all the three bones that we're tracking. And then as soon as the update hits, we're going to be we're basically going to be updating the updating the log. So these are gonna get at it. We will we we're gonna keep appending and appending and appending and and maybe and maybe that's okay uh, to an extent. So maybe what I'll do here is, is so that we know, just thinking what should be the best. I think this is fine. Let's just see what we get. And then once we know what we're getting, we can go ahead and make changes to the script if we need to. So I think that's everything that I have there. And okay, so I think I'm happy with, happy with that component. So the other thing that I'm gonna need is I'm gonna have to go to the, to the AR session origin and actually AR human body tracker and have this login text, so I need to associate that with the login. But I need to just call this one what it is, it's gonna be login text. So it's easier for you guys to find it if you need to look at it. And then we can go back in here. And then what I'll do as well is, let me make sure this is Y, because otherwise we won't be able to see it. Let's just change this all the way to Y. And then the debug panel, I'm gonna change the, this a little bit to be something like that, I think, I think it's better. And then this is this miss button in this case, we can we can also make it work. Let me just search for this miss here. And then we just copy. I, I do this every time. We just copy the implementation from another script. Okay, so we'll just do that the same way that we're doing that there. We'll just copy it. We'll just copy it here, make it serializable. And I know what I need to do, but I think it's easier just to just to copy it. And let me make sure that I, okay, I'm doing that on the awake. And this one doesn't have an awake, I don't believe, no. 
So let's go ahead and just do void awake. And then I'll just do the method and then add the handler. Then we're going to need the method to dismiss the welcome panel, which I already have here. So we can just go ahead and add it right below. And there we go. Right there. There we go. So we're showing it. And then as soon as the, they press the, the dismiss button, it's going to go away. And then we also need to add a reference to the to the actual panel. So I'm just going to do private game object and then welcome panel and then we'll also serialize it. All right, so I think I think I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And all right, so now let's go back into Unity and let's go ahead and associate the UI components. And we're going to need the welcome panel, which is going to be this one and also the dismiss button. All right, so I think that's everything that I want to do in this video, but I want to make sure that I build it and then show you the results as soon as I get it, I get it built in my device. So we also need to add this as an open scene. And then let's make sure that we put it next to the human body tracking examples. So I'm going to add it right after everything. And then this should be the only one that is checked. So I think that's everything. And let me just go ahead and build it. And OK, so we're just going to go ahead and replace the one that we have in the desktop. Hit save and then do a pin and then replace. All right, this is going to take just a few minutes to build. And I'm going to put it in my device. We're going to test it. And then I think I'm going to call it good after that. And then on the next video, I'll show you what we need to do to actually start spawning the superpowers. All right, guys, so I got this building and it's actually already running on my device. So I want to show you the results of the debug log that I that I added. So you can now tell that I am changing the position so you can see bone is spine four. Here is the basically the, the world position and also the local position, the same thing with, it looks like I got a message from somebody on Facebook, but let me just go ahead and fast forward it. So basically you can see, you know, different bones and you can also see the position. So this works, it's just really hard to see. So I'm gonna be formatting that a little better in Unity and also making the text a lot bigger. I'm gonna be running some tests. And then for the next video, I'm gonna be prepared with everything that we need to basically use these minimums and these maximums to determine when we actually need to spawn a new particle specifically like if you look at it right now my both of my hands are sitting so if i look at the if i look at the right hand and you look at the local position we can see that let me just see okay here we go so this is the right hand the position is uh, x is zero y is negative seven seven negative zero point seven and then c is two point three and if we look at the spines, we can look at that that number is much higher. And, and that might be because, you know, the, the hand is a little bit upward, like it's right above the, it's actually under the spine. So that's why this number is lower, where the number on the spine, where we're looking at, you know, we're looking at spine four is negative, negative uh, 0 0.5. That one is above the right hand and left hand. So it's sitting around here. And let me see if I can, so that's spine four. And so this is really hard to see. It's really hard to determine what we're doing. And actually, that's the only spine that I added. I didn't add it as spine five. But I know by looking at the y-axis that this is right above the, the right hand position, just because the number is less than, is greater than the, the one on the right hand. So those are some of the numbers that we can look at and then determine what will work best. So I think for now, this, this is great because I get, I'm going to get a feeling of what I actually need to do. And actually, let's look at the numbers. I think this is gonna be interesting because my hand is, is right above the spine. So if we look at spine four, right now we have spine four at negative 0.6. If we look at the position of the right hand, you can see that the right hand is way above that. We're, we're looking at a number of 0.1. So so we can easily do something like, okay, if the, you know, if the position of the right hand is above the spine, Y position, then we can spawn a particle. We can do the same thing with either hand. So this is actually super helpful, and I think we're going to be able to use this for the next video. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video on superpowers with body tracking. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting everything that I'm doing behind the scenes, and I also post early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.